How to animate a character in Express Animate. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to create and animate a simple cartoon character in Express Animate. Part 1 Creating a Character Puppet. In this first video, we are going to start by creating a happy businessman character from simple vector shapes and turning it into a puppet ready for animation. Here is a character that I already made. On the left, you can see a tree view showing all the separate body parts of our character. Animating every single body part as a separate object would be very hard, but when they are parented to each other in a logical way, they form a puppet that is very easy to animate. A child object simply follows its parent. So, when the character lifts his shoulder, it pulls up his lower arm, and the hand follows too. It is important for all the objects in the project to have clear names, so that you don't lose track of them, and know how separate parts relate to each other. Let's start from the beginning by creating a new composition in Express Animate. Go to Composition Settings and give it a name. We'll call it Businessman. In the Background tab, let's change the color of the background to white to make it easier to see our character. Now, select a pen tool by going into New Object, Custom Shape. A little pen tip icon appears over the canvas, and we can start drawing a face. When you complete the shape, press Enter to close the curve. Click on the shape name on the timeline to rename it to Face. Don't worry if you didn't get the shape right from the first go. Just click on it again. When the curve is highlighted, it means you can edit it by dragging each individual curve point and adjusting Bezier handles. Click on Fill Solid to change the color of the shape from green to something more skin-like. Use a color wheel to mix the right skin tone, or select one of the colors from the palette. Drag a corner of the face shape to scale it. Hold down your right mouse key to move it around the canvas. Now let's make hair. Create a new custom shape and start drawing again. Choose a hair color you want by clicking on Fill Solid and rename the object to Hair. To make eyes, instead of a pen tool, let's use one of the basic shapes, an ellipse. Rename it. For a character, that eye is a right one. Change its color to white. Create a new ellipse to make his iris. Change color to black. Rename. Now, let's add a little white ellipse that looks like light reflecting in his eye. We have three shapes now forming his right eye. To avoid doing the same job twice, let's just copy these three shapes by pressing Ctrl plus C and then pasting them with Ctrl plus V. They have now been duplicated, so just drag each shape to the right to make his left eye. Don't forget to rename the duplicated shapes. Now, let's make a nose. Again, use the pen tool to carefully draw a shape. Press Enter to complete the shape. Change the color of the nose to a slightly darker skin color. Create a new custom shape for the mouth. Choose a bright red color and rename the shape to Mouth. His big smile needs to show his teeth. Draw a new shape along the outline of the mouth. Don't forget that you can always change it after you completed the curve by simply clicking on the shape twice. Change solid color to white and rename the shape to Teeth. Hold spacebar to move around the canvas. Create a new shape and draw an eyebrow. 
I would suggest using the same color as the hair. Now, simply select his eyebrow, copy it, Ctrl plus C, and paste, Ctrl plus V. Rename. To mirror the duplicated shape, select Scale in the Layer Settings and click on the little chain link icon to hide it. This allows you to set one of the scale parameters to minus 100%. That mirrors it horizontally. Now that we have all parts of the character's face, we should assign all of them to a single parent. Just drag each separate part onto the face shape. Now, when you move the face, all of the smaller parts move with it as children. Let's make a neck. Select New Object, Custom Shape, and draw a neck and its base. Choose the same skin color. Rename the shape to neck and drag its layer below all other layers on the timeline so that the neck appears to be behind his face. Now let's make a torso. I am creating a weird shape that will eventually become the businessman's suit. Choose a color for the suit and rename the shape to torso. Again, drag its layer under all other layers. This new shape will become his shirt. I'm making it light blue and parenting it to the torso by dragging it onto torso shape in the tree view. And I am moving it to the bottom of the list on the timeline. Now let's make a new shape for his hips. Call it hips, parent it to torso, change color to brown, and drag the animation layer to the very bottom of the list. Make a belt. It's a very simple shape. Drag its layer under the torso but above the hips. Parent the belt to the hips. I am now making a belt buckle. Its shape is a bit tricky because it needs a hole in it. Parent it to the belt. Change color. Reduce scale parameter to make it smaller or adjust its position. Now let's draw his shoulder. It looks like a sausage. Call it shoulder right. It's preferable to call body part in left or right in relation to the character, not the screen. Now parent it to torso. Draw a lower arm. It has a similar shape. Call it arm right. Hold control key while scrolling your wheel above the rotation parameter to quickly change the angle of the arm. Parent the arm to the shoulder. Now his hand. It has more of a tricky shape with all the fingers, but you can always adjust it when you are done. Choose skin color. Parent the hand to the arm. Drag it to the bottom of the list. Rotate and move it into the right position. Use directional arrows on the keyboard for more position. We will draw legs in a similar manner. A bigger sausage to form his thigh. Change color to brown, same as the hips. Rename to thigh right. Parent to the hips. And this shape will become the second part of his leg. Rename to calf right. Now let's make a shoe. It can have a more interesting or funny shape. I'm making it black in color. Rename to shoe right. Parent to the calf. Drag it to the bottom of the list under all other layers. This unusual shape will become a part of the businessman suit.
I am choosing a lighter blue color and calling the shape lapel right. It can stay as a top layer on the timeline. And this crazy shape will become his white collar. And calling the shape collar. Parent it to the torso and drag its layer under the lapel. Finally, let's make a tie. Rename and change color to red to match his shiny smile. Now that we have all the body parts on his right side, we can simply select all three parts of his right leg and copy and paste them with Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus V. Parent the duplicates to the torso and move them to the right. Change objects names to shoe left, calf left, and thigh left. Do the same thing for his arm. Select the three parts, copy and paste, change name. For the arm, we want to mirror it horizontally. Click on the chain link icon near the scale parameter and add a minus in front of the first number. That flips the arm and we can now move it into place. For the hand though, I prefer to flip it back because I want both thumbs to be pointing to the right in the final animation. So it's just a matter of adding another minus for the horizontal scale parameter and rotating it a bit. Finally, let's mirror the lapel. Duplicate. Rename. Unlink the scale parameters and set horizontal scale to negative 100%. Rotate and move to adjust. Don't forget to parent the shoulders through the torso and the thighs to the hips. Our businessman character is complete. Save your project and you can proceed to the second part of this video tutorial. We'll recreate a simple character animation. For more Express Animate tutorials, visit the address shown on your screen.